Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to hop on here and make a video with the Brita uh, faucet filter here that, that basically hops right on the filter. Uh, I Right now, this is, my, uh, this is my slop sink, but this is the only water that I have down in the basement and I was tired of running up and down trying to get fresh water because I work primarily in the basement. But I just got it here installed and I can tell you that I am already pleased with the quality and the taste of the water. This is the chrome version. It also comes in white, but really installation was super, super simple. Uh, let me see, I've got... Basically every faucet has this little piece that kind of that screws into the faucet here. This is the aerator. As you can see mine was mine was kind of gunky. But basically all I had to do was I took a I took a set of channel lock pliers and then I I uh, turned that little that little knob tailpiece on the end of the on the end of the faucet to the left. I was lefty loosey, righty tighty. So I turned that there to the left. That screwed right off. The aerator came out and then part of Part of the faucet, it comes with a bunch of adapters, uh, different screws, different threads, uh, different O-rings to help fit your faucet. So what I did was I took and I screwed the, uh, I screwed the adapter in. I'm bringing here real close. You can see that little, that little gray piece. The adapter screws into the faucet, and then these threads are all the same, and they screw into the black piece. This little collar here rotates freely. And all I had to do was once that was in, I rotate the collar, tighten that one up. And now I'm installed. Uh, then all I do, all I had to do after this was take the filter that they enclosed. It is set up the way I have it pressurized right now. There's water in there. I can't really show you. But basically, there's there's two there's two tongs in here that basically it only goes in one way. There's one there's one little like pin in the middle, one pin off to the side. You basically rate, rotate it till they're lined up. Give it a firm press and it snaps into place. When that's done, it'll take a second. It'll take a second to pressurize and then you've got clean filtered tap water. There was some black water that came out, I presume just from like the charcoal that's in the filter, but that right there is filtered. That's regular tap water and that'll take a second to dissipate, but really simple, simple, really easy addition. And I'm really glad that I purchased it. And now I'm gonna have filtered water in the basement whenever I want. 